Hey everybody, welcome in. This is Love Goddess Tarot. My name is Maureen. Welcome to my channel. I am so excited to do your pick a card love reading today. If you haven't been here before, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to stop by. And for all my subscribers, thank you so much. I love you guys. Thanks for your beautiful comments and all that you share. Um, we have built a really beautiful community together and I feel really honored to help guide you towards love. Um, a couple of announcements. I am now offering shout outs and shout outs are one card readings, one card, one question, and I do them right here during the reading. So um, it's a really fun way for us to connect and for you to be part of each of these videos. So today's shout out um, is for April. Hi, April. How are you? Thank you so much for being part of the community. April had a question about um, when she's going to have her next relationship, okay? So I'm going to pull one card, and we're going to see what comes up for April today. Okay, April. So we have the King of Cups, and he came through reversed. So I do see a water sign male energy, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person, or someone who is very sensitive, very emotionally connected, um, very caring, but it's delayed a little bit. And generally, I would say that this would be summertime. So what I'm thinking is it's possible that you will meet this person um, or have some sort of contact with them uh, by summer. And um, it's definitely months for you, not years, in terms of when you're going to have this relationship. But there is a little bit of a delay, so I think he might be in another relationship or there might be some sort of block right now. Okay, so that's your shout out. I am so excited that you are part of the community, April. Now, if you'd like your own question answered, if you have a love question, all you have to do is check the description box below and there's a link to my website. Go to the website and book your shout out. Okay, so now let's take a look at our reading today. Who's your next boyfriend? I'm gonna give you a closer look at each one of the crystal hearts, which is on top of each pile, so you can choose your reading. So group number one, you have this beautiful green heart. Group two, you have the kind of like rust orange heart. Group three, you have this beautiful black onyx heart. And group four, you have the rose quartz, the pink. Okay, so take a moment, see what you're drawn to, and as always, these are general readings, so not every message that comes through will be meant for you, but what is, take with you and leave the rest behind. You'll know in your heart, and always lead with your heart. Most of all, have fun, get comfy, get cozy. One, two, three, four, the timestamps are below. Hey, number one, here's your reading. You chose the green heart. And we're going to take a look at your tarot first, and then I'm going to pull oracle messages for you and do lots of other fun things to get as much information as we can about this person. So who's your next boyfriend? We're going to start with the Wheel of Fortune, and that's reversed. You have the Emperor. Okay, very powerful energy coming through. And you have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so what I see here for you is um, I'm kind of uh, feeling this energy of um, like your frustration or you feeling stuck or you feeling like um, things haven't moved ahead in terms of relationships for you um, and you're just there's this sense of feeling like it's never going to happen and you know when is when is this person coming through I'm really feeling like this isn't going to happen but there is a lot of slow energy here so I want you to know that this is definitely a moment where divine timing comes in and where we you know sometimes we're not ready sometimes the person isn't ready but there is very positive energy here for um this connection and what I see is that um, this person does move kind of slow the knight of pentacles is like the slowest knight in the deck and so they take their time um, pentacles for me with this energy what I'm feeling like is that this is a um, this is a connection that you could probably start to feel um, 
over the next like year year time frame because we do have that night and he's carrying that pentacle and I feel like it's one year from now in the spring like that April time from that Taurus time frame that this person is coming through but I see them as someone who's very solid somebody who is great with money somebody who um, may own their own business might you know be um you know pretty high up in a company or just own you know just really good with money there's a lot of aries and capricorn energy coming through for this person um but just someone who really likes to have everything lined up take their time but i do think that um this is happening for you within the next year um and so it's like i'm just so drawn to the fact that he's you know we're in Taurus season right now you're getting this knight of pentacles but there's just this stuck feeling. So it's like, it's just taking for me, you know, till the next Taurus season. But I do kind of feel like the energy of this person will start to kind of show itself um, this winter. So it's, it's like, maybe it'll gel, maybe you'll connect with this person by the winter, but you'll start to really kind of have a connection and a relationship um, by the spring of next year. So it's like within the year t time frame. Um, but yeah, it just feels like this energy of someone who is just so uh, careful. Okay. Just a careful person. They also feel like they could even be kind of in your environment or someone that you may be aware of or someone that you are thinking of right now. And you're like, Oh, I know who this is. I'm thinking of this person, but I do kind of see them close by. I do see them kind of keeping an eye on you. And I just feel like they're taking their time. There's something about the timing that's off here. So let's see what else comes through about this person. If we can get any more details, I feel for you because I do feel this slow energy. Okay. But it does come. I mean, night is movement. This person is moving. It's like they're sitting on their throne right now. They're like really comfortable. They're kind of a little bit stubborn, a lot of that Taurus energy, but then I do see them moving. They just have to make sure that everything is right. Okay. So they're just super careful. Yeah, look at this. So we have the three of pentacles, but it's reversed. This is somebody that wants to build something um, lasting. So this isn't like a short term. This isn't someone you're just going to date. This is like someone you're going to have a relationship with. And so they're really waiting for that right time. That's a, a energy of wanting to build something. Look at this. Beautiful. <laughs> See, it's going to be worth waiting for. You got the ten of cups, which is this is like this family energy, this happily ever after, this complete emotional connection and fulfillment, okay? So that's what this person is after, and they're willing to wait, and they want everything to be lined up. Okay, and so we also have, look at this, we have two threes reversed underneath this person. So is there a connection here between... Um, maybe between friends, between people you work with? Is there something that um, could be blocking blocking this connection? Is, that, is this a friend of someone that you know who, you know, maybe thinks that you, you know, aren't interested in a long-term committed relationship or doesn't think you really want a boyfriend? There's something, information I feel like they're getting from other people or from watching you that makes them think, oh, you know, that they were just... They're not into it. Um, but let's see what comes through. Okay, yeah. So I do feel like there could be some, you know, some misinformation, some, um, you know, something that's just preventing them from take, making that move towards you. Let's see what is blocking this. Oh, see, look at Page of Pentacles. So it's all this slow, slow energy. It's just them being super cautious. They may have had difficulties in the past or they might have had relationships where there was some deception or something. And so that's why they're just really cautious. It's just a matter of them being slow. I am getting total confirmation that they are that earth sign energy. Taurus or Capricorn is coming through most of all. Um, and look at this, Eight of Cups. So they are aware that this 
piece of their life is missing, even though they came through as the emperor. And so they have like all of this control with their money and they're, they're really got it, you know, their life, you know, is in order. They realize that something's missing and they want to go find it. So I remember I said, I thought this person was close by and I feel like they have been keeping an eye on you or it's somebody you might know from the past and they're going to come towards you, come back towards you, or, um, it may be even move back home, but there, there's something about them realizing that they have to go on this journey to connect with this energy. And maybe, you know, they need to stop, you know, hanging out, partying with their friends, and they need to focus more on being, you know, finding that person and connecting in a real and genuine way. But yeah, if it could be somebody that moved away from where you live and is coming back towards you. Okay, beautiful. So now let's roll the astrodite. We'll see what other signs and symbols come through. Okay, you've got Sagittarius, 7th house, um, Neptune. And so this person is definitely um, very romantic and dreamy when it comes to this idea of that long-term partner, that family, that marriage. Um, and, you know, Sag energy can be about travel. It could be that you're a Sag. Um, it could be that they, like I said, they're, they, they realize they have to make some sort of a trip to get to you. Um, they may even live in a foreign place, but I feel like they've been there's some connection between you, whether it's through friends, whether it's watching you on social media or something. But I definitely feel like, especially with this night and then with him coming back, um, it's like he's aware of you. I do feel like he's aware of you. Okay, so now let's get some Oracle messages about this connection. Who is this person? We'll start with the Animal Oracle. So we have pig spirit, use your mind wisely, and crow spirit, co-create with spirit, number 17 and number 47. Um, that's interesting. So use your mind wisely. You know, like I said, with that seven of swords reversed, it's like there's something they could even be just a mental block for this person, but they know that they have to make this change and they, they know what they really, really want. They're just not there yet. They're not ready to, to get there. Um, I see the crow spirit as connected to you and that's number 17. It could be that that number is important to you or eight August is important to you. Um, but this is really about knowing that, that, that whole piece of the divine timing and that this person, um, is, I feel like this is this is something that you've thought about or you are connected. I'm just picking up on that you have some sort of feeling or connection to this person already. And this is about really manifesting this wish, this dream that you have. Okay, let's see what we get from the moon oracle. Wow, luck is on your side, new moon and Sag, and you have the Sag dice. So that Sagittarius energy, that arrow energy, that's that making a trip, that um, coming towards you from a distance or coming back home if they've moved away, um, that's being confirmed, and that Sagittarius energy is being confirmed. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to pull you... One of my cards, this is the Aphrodite Love Oracle. I designed them. I love them, and they are for sale. The link is in the description section. You can go to my website and purchase them. And while I'm doing this, don't forget, you can go to my website and also purchase a one-question, one-card reading for $11. I did one today. The link is in the description section. Go to my website and book that. April had hers today. And so if you have a love question about who is this person or what's happening, um, go right ahead and book that. Ooh, you have rabbit, Aphrodite's animal, spring, new beginning, fertility growth, number 27, a new love cycle is coming for you. This is so beautiful because the, the Knight of Pentacles is, look at this, this is a spring message. Here he is sitting on his horse. He's just plowed the fields and he's thinking about what am I going to plant? What do I really value? I want something long term, you know, springtime is all about planting the seeds that are going to grow into something beautiful. Um, 
so we're getting a real, com- you know, confirmation of um, that Knight of Pentacles energy. So this is really beautiful. And with that Wheel of Fortune reversed, it's like the end of that that cycle of not having what you want, that end of that being stuck feeling. Okay, beautiful. Oh, and more earth stuff, more Taurus, more planting, more growth, harvest, which is what I just said. Earth, garden, harvest, growth, grape leaves. Aphrodite's plant, your relationships must be nurtured. Number 34. So, yeah, this is something that might take time. This is something that is worth nurturing. Um, Like I said, this person has that Ten of Cups energy at their base. This is someone who wants something solid and secure. Cure. They have so much pentacle energy. We are getting such confirmation about who this person is. This is someone that takes their time. This is someone who's really honest and who wants to share something long term. And it's something that needs to, to grow, which takes time. Like, you know, you don't plant a, a grape, you know, seed and have grapes, you know, growing in two days. So this is also giving me that year, that whole feeling that I had initially from the beginning of the reading. Okay, so beautiful. Now, let's pull one of the Le Monde, the French Fortune. Let's get an overall message for you today about this connection. Ooh, birds, I love it. Number, this is all so springy, you know? I love this. Okay, so we got number 12 and we got birds, and I love this. Look at that little one. And I really see this as like, you know, a family so growing something together. Look, they have the little one up there. Um, I'm also, for some reason, I'm picking up on like with birds, Twitter and like online conversations and back and forth and talking with that seven of swords. It's like almost a little warning too to take your time to maybe not listen to gossip, to not um, to focus on the positive stuff and really, you know, surround yourself with people that you really trust. Um, and I also feel like this, this, you know, this bird in the picture is kind of like, um, giving a message like something important is coming um, so keep your eyes open to any you know like symbols or signs that might be coming because I think I think you're going to get something I think there's going to be something connected to this reading that's going to pop out at you and please write it below if you've already figured it out um, and you're really connecting with this message um, but yeah I just feel like there's 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 some there's something there's some sort of advice or some sort of person. There might even be someone um, in your life who's going to say something to you that's really going to just like click and you're going to think, oh yeah, oh my gosh. And I feel like it's going to bring you to this person or bring you closer to them and make you understand what this whole waiting was all about. Okay, so... Okay, now I'm going to get you a message from the Goddess Oracle. And so this is a message for you about what Goddess energy is going to help you, who you need to kind of connect with. Okay, so you have the Goddess Kuan Yin, Compassion. Beautiful. Look at her. She's, she, it looks like a peony. A flower in her hand and she's got like the sun behind her and she's dressed in all white. Kuan Yin is this beautiful goddess of compassion. She always comes to kind of help heal people to to listen to their problems to kind of you know take take on and ease their suffering. So I think that she's coming in to say that you know um, that you by having compassion for others, for people in your life, for your loved ones, but also for yourself, you open yourself up for even more love. And so maybe part of that frustration and part of that, the wheel of fortune reversed is like, um, it's, it's giving you, it's making you feel really frustrated or it's shutting you down to maybe the, um, being compassionate that you normally would be. So by embracing this compassion, you can connect ease more easily and open up to the love around you. So what a beautiful goddess to come through for you. Okay. So those are 
your Oracle messages. Now I'm going to pull you some um, initials and we're going to do a charm reading. Okay, let's see what letters, initials come through for you today. Maybe we'll get a word, a name. You never know what's coming out today. Ooh, okay. Let's see what we have for you. Number one, you have F, B, S, R, my sleeves are knocking everything, so I'll pull them all off and then do them one at a time. PG. Okay. B. G. I. K. F. K. And G. Okay, so there are your letters, your initials. And now I'm going to do a charm reading for you, so you might want to turn the volume down if you have headphones in, because it can be a little loud. I'll give you a second. Don't forget, the link to my website is below in the description section if you want to get information about purchasing the Love Goddess Oracle deck. Aphrodite, here they are the Aphrodite Love Oracle that I created, or get a reading, make a donation. If you've had real, a lot of fun, if you love my channel and come back all the time, you can make a donation to the channel and help me purchase equipment or leave a tip. Okay, number one. You have over here the beautiful tree now with all of the messages that you got so many messages about um you know family roots growing things nurturing grape leaves harvest springtime something lasting with all that pentacle energy um so that's coming through you also have the sword now you did the only sword message you had was the seven of swords reversed which is about like not listening to gossip or letting go of negative thoughts and feelings or separating yourself from people around you who aren't positive so that's what i feel like that message is um you have the big open heart, which was totally the message of Kuan Yin, your compassion, your goddess message, opening your heart up. Ooh, and you have the owl. And for me, that's Capricorn energy. That's emperor stuff. And so that's just, could be someone older, could be someone really secure. It's also about really seeing things clearly and watching for the signs and symbols, okay? And you have the, ooh, you have the musical note, the G clap. So there could be a connection for you about music there could be you know um, someone who's involved in music or you're a musician the person could be a musician um, you could share a love of music or maybe um, go out on a date to hear a band or be at a bar when there's live music that kind of thing and you also have the cactus which I love this is also about like slow growth um, watering taking care of something something that takes time something that's really solid um, this also could be Arizona messages about Arizona and the desert um, but for me it feels more like that that kind of really taking a long time and that's what I feel like for this connection that it's like a little bit frustrating for you but I want you to know that this is really beautiful energy I mean the ten of cups is like the best card you can get when it comes to a relationship so I would say it's worth it okay everyone those are your messages for today I, please like comment subscribe hit the notification bell all of those things really really help write your comments below and let me know how you're connecting with this energy check out the link to my website to find all of my connections links information i am sending you so much love and i'll talk to you soon hey number two here's your reading you chose the kind of like burnt orange heart let's see what we can find out about your next boyfriend. We're going to start with your tarot and then we're going to get oracle messages. I'm going to roll the astro dice and also do a charm reading for you. Okay, so you're starting with the beautiful Queen of Cups and you have the Nine of Wands and the Magician. Ooh, exciting. Okay, very, very powerful, powerful person coming in and a powerful connection. Um, 
What I see in this reading for me is that you are being represented by this Queen of Cups energy. Um, the Queen of Cups can be a water sign, so maybe some of you are Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, um, but also it's just someone who's very nurturing, someone who's very emotional. You might be, um, you know, an intuitive. You might also read tarot. You could just be someone who has gifts and um, connects, to, connects to nature. You might just love being near the water, but it's just someone who is very, very nurturing and caring, and that's how you're coming through. What I see between you is this exhaustion. So I almost feel like this is a message for you to keep going and to know that this love is coming because the Nine of Wands energy um, is about being so close um, to getting what you really desire. And it's an encouragement of like, keep going. You're so close. Um, and it's also fire sign energy, which is cool because you did get, you did choose the, um, burnt orange, like the fiery kind of heart. So it's like, you, it's like, you just have to know, you just have to, um, continue to be inspired, okay, um, about love because we have this beautiful magician. This person's coming through as um, the magician energy, which is someone who's a manifester, someone who probably wants to manifest this relationship with you and is is actively involved in doing that. And this can be someone who has a lot of Mercury placements, could be a Virgo or a Gemini sun sign. Um, a lot of times it it, it is, um, but it's also just someone who has all of these gifts and talents and, um, as I said, is a real manifester. So I feel like the universe is saying, listen, I got you and this person has you. Don't worry. Don't be sad. Um, don't feel that you're not appreciated and um, valued because there's this amazing person coming in. You're so close to being together. We have the nine between you, so I do feel like it's close because the nine is like coming, coming, coming really quickly. And with wands, we really, we think of in terms of like quick action. Um, and because we also have that beautiful magician, I'm really feeling like there's potential for this um, connection or this person to kind of connect with you even this spring. Okay, we're in spring right now, so it really feels like it could be very close. Okay, but we'll get more information. Let's pull some more cards and see what comes up about this person. I'm excited whenever the magician comes in. It's like, woo! I mean, that's who I want to see. Um, so I'm excited for you. Ooh, so we have the Queen of Swords under that Queen of Cups. Okay, interesting. Let's see what we get under that Nine of Wands. We have the Hermit reversed. Okay. And let's see what we have under the Magician. Ooh. Okay, so we have the hanged man, but upright, change in perspective. Um, I'm going to pull one more on that hermit. Okay, wow. Um, this is, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to talk to you in a minute, but I'm very, I'm really in, enjoying the way that this is unfolding. Okay. Um, so here's what I see about this connection. First, let's start with you. Um, so what I think is that um, there's a part of you that would love to speak up, to um, be much more direct, but, but something's holding you back. And I do feel like um, you've maybe given much more in the past in relationships than you've gotten in return, because this feels like, a, you know, like unbalanced energy. And so I feel like you're maybe a little bit more to yourself than you normally would be with relationships. And that's why this Nine of Wands is here. Um, and the, the Nine of Wands was telling you you're so close. There's probably a relationship or something in the past, a pattern, 
pattern, something that you really had to release and let go of um, and kind of come out from hiding. That's the message with the Hermit reversed. It's like it's time to um, come out from behind whatever that pain was or that sorrow because you do have this amazing energy, this person who um, is going to be your true equal, someone who's looking for a partner, a balanced, fair relationship, um, and somebody who's going to kind of bring that magic back into your life. I definitely feel this connection is coming after some heartbreak or heartache or some like releasing some long like old old wounds um it could even be past life stuff but but it's about you kind of reclaiming your power and you reclaiming who you are and I feel like you've been kind of if something is keeping you held back a little bit and you're not speaking your truth or you haven't been able to because maybe you were in relationships where you weren't being heard. But now this person that's coming in is going to really get you back to that beautiful balance of strength and, and being soft, you know, uh, emotional, like the Queen of Cups, but also strong, okay, like the Strength card. Um, and there's a lot of, you know, there's the Infinity symbol here on the Strength card, and there's one over the Magician. So this does feel like... Um, this feels like a very old soul connection, something that's gone on for many lifetimes. And maybe that's what the feeling of exhaustion, it's like, can we just be together already? <laughs> like we've gone through all of this stuff. I want to be together. Um, but yeah, it does, it feels really powerful because you have that magician and the strength card. It feels like more than just a date. This is not just a boyfriend. This is like a big soul connection. Wow. So yeah, there was definitely heartache behind um, it that seems to be or betrayal of some sort or cheating or um, some sort of real heartache. This is the heartbreak card on your side. That's that's what's been holding you back. Um, that's what you're healing from. Yeah. And look at this, letting go of cycles and cycles of, of patterns, um, you know, this repeating patterns and you're so over it. And it's like, listen, I want to embrace this new energy. I want to let go of all of that negativity and those old, pa those old patterns. So you could also be releasing a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus male energy. Someone who wasn't fair, somebody I'm, I'm leaning, you know, kind of more towards, um, well, let's pull one more and see what we get. Somebody that didn't value you, yeah. Um, and this person that's coming in is going to really sweep you off your feet. This is somebody who's going to um, be very romantic, very affectionate. I feel like that was missing with this other connection. Um, and this person is going to make you feel that wand energy. See, look. Okay, it could be Leo energy, Sag, um, Aries. I'm leaning more towards that Leo because you had the strength and the magician so powerful and that warm, warm heart. And you got you chose that warm heart. And it's interesting because you do also have the heartbreak card with that red heart. So I feel like this is a really important one for you. And this is a really strong message coming through. But I do see this beautiful energy of someone who's caring and loving and kind. Look what's at the bottom of the deck the wish card. This is like, wow. Okay, good. So I'm happy for you because this is much more positive energy that's coming in. Let's see what else we can get with the Oracle. Before I do the Oracle, I'll roll you the Astro Dice. Let's see what comes up. Okay, we have fourth house, Pisces, Neptune. Wow. Okay, it could be a Sag rising. Maybe some of you are Sag rising or this person. Um, but yeah, this is really about this deep, deep person that makes you feel like home. This is a spiritual connection with Neptune and Pisces in the fourth house of the real intimate, deep, like home, safety. Um, this person really connects with that energy. And it also gives me that past life connection with the Pisces. Um, okay, let's see what we get. Number two. Rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. Yay! I would say so. Because, you know, I did. I was told to turn over. Look what I saw. The Nine of Cups. Very lucky time. A new cycle is beginning. We have that beautiful energy of the rabbit. Um, 
and also, you know, sometimes rabbits are a little scared, like that hermit energy, and like they're coming, you know, they they come out, kind of run away and get a little cautious, and I feel like that energy with you too. Um, okay, and this person's coming through as the eagle spirit. Spirit has your back, number 23. Beautiful. Yeah, it's just have faith. You've got this wonderful energy. I do see these old patterns and these old um, kind of repetitive things coming through for you, but they're all releasing. They're reversals. You're letting it go. You're moving on. You've got the death card. It's like, don't fight it. You have the energy. You can keep going. I know that things haven't been great, but you're moving towards this wonderful energy. There's, you know, that the eagle has a crown on its head. I'm getting a lot of Leo for this person. Okay, let's get you a moon card. I'm sorry, my stomach. Ooh, you got Pisces, full moon in Pisces. And we have the Pisces energy right here. So we're getting confirmation of that Pisces energy, that beautiful spirituality, which I talked about. Balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. And the full moon in Pisces happens during Virgo time frame. And we, st we have the magician. So we have a lot of confirmation here about this person. Um... Let's get you a little, well, first I'll do, let's get you one of mine, the Aphrodite Love Oracle. These are based on Aphrodite signs and symbols. I created them, and they are for sale. The link is in the description section. You just have to go to my website. The link is on um, in the description section to my website, and you can purchase them. You can also, if you have a question, you can purchase a shout out. I'm now doing shout out readings and I did one today for April. Hi, April. You can check in the um, timestamps if you want to listen to it and see how it works. I pull one card, one question. It's $11. Uh-oh, what happened here? Oysters. Ooh, Aphrodite's potion aphrodisiac pleasure desire sexy number 15 there is powerful chemistry i think so we have the hottest night in the deck the knight of wands passion passion i love it yeah you're gonna know it's not gonna be like i'm not sure about this person do they like me <laughs> Swans, Aphrodite's birds, soulmates, best friends, partners, true love, number two, love that will last forever. I told you there was so much in here in this reading about these, um, this karmic connection. You have the magician, you have those, the infinity symbol, the soulmate symbol, and this is this partner, this best friend, this true love energy coming through. Wow, beautiful. And you know, swans mate for life, so... I said, this is, you know, this is really lifetime energy. This is like Outlander, which I love. I don't know if you guys have watched it, but you might want to, especially if this is your reading. And it's like the redheaded guy who plays, I don't know what his name is, who's the lead character. Oh, my God, I think he's gorgeous, but um, kind of amazing. I would check it out. Okay. Oh, book number 10. Um, I mean, the 10 of diamonds, number 26. And look at the book. It has that door there, which I love. Um, so the book really represents knowledge and wisdom and information. And I think that that's a real connection to this person who's being represented by the magician card, which is that most powerful connection to all the information, spiritual, you know, emotional, practical. Um, and the book really also can be about like discovery or education or, um, you know, revelations, wisdom, all that stuff that the magician has. It can also be that maybe for some of you, you are thinking of taking, you know, doing a spiritual workshop or self-improvement course, or maybe for some of you, even meeting this person in school at university. So the book can mean a lot of different things for different people. But I feel like it's you're going through this door, you're going through the doorway, you're learning, you're opening yourself up to this experience, and it's going to be a new, beautiful one. So that I love. Okay, so now, oh, I'm knocking cards all over the place. Okay, 
Let me pick these up. This is out of control here. And I'm gonna get you a goddess, a goddess oracle message to see kind of what the overall goddess energy that you need to embrace and connect with. Which goddess are you getting today? You are getting Anana, embracing the shadow. Ooh, and isn't this wild? This kind of reminds me, look at this, of the strength card. It's like a woman and a lion. Look at this. Amazing. She's got the beautiful crown over her head of stars. It feels very, you know, like a soulmate energy, something across time and space. It's interesting because Anonym's message is about journeying to the underworld to find wholeness. And you have the death card, which is obviously the underworld um, and that 10 of swords energy. So that's pretty intense. Um, but yeah, this is about, you know, um, really you know, addressing shadow stuff, doing shadow work, um, kind of that, old, you know, embrace your own dark side, embrace the things that you maybe are keeping from yourself or that you're projecting and that you need to kind of, um, you need to embrace all parts of yourself. You know, sometimes we, you know, that's where we get into trouble in love because there's parts of ourselves that we're rejecting and then they become more powerful. But when we deal with them, head on that we just integrate them into you know um maybe there's something that um is it's like something that you really want to achieve but um you, you're not like you you're you're just like afraid to kind of say it to yourself or allow yourself to have something um I think that this is really about embracing your strength, um, speaking up your truth, you know, that queen of swords energy, not being, you know, not denying yourself who you are. Maybe that's what seeking this knowledge is all about. It's about, you know, figuring out who you are. Maybe that's part of your journey right now too. And that's how you're going to ultimately connect with that magician. But it's by, you know, visiting those things that we have to release and then releasing them, letting go of them and moving on you know with the death card it's really not about death it's about endings and releasing and transformation so I feel like you're you are really going through some sort of inner personal transformation and it's like you're going to walk through this door and be a new person and that's when this energy is going to come to you after you've kind of done all that and if you have done that and you're now on the other side of it just know that you are now this new person embrace who you are feel that strength um, and be that love will come and you have this beautiful soulmate energy coming in so Wow, what a beautiful message for you. Okay, um, let's get you some initials and letters. We'll find out more about this connection. This can be the person's name, yours, a place, something important. I feel like those want to come out. Okay, so we have D, C, B, G, R, K, B, F, M, G, G, a lot of G's today, K, A, and P. Okay, so there are your letters, and now I'm going to do your charm reading. So, if you've got headphones in, turn the volume down. This can be kind of loud and scratchy. Some people love it, some people don't, so I want to give you a moment. And also, I can tell you that if you want to get infor more information about a reading, like the shout-out I did today for April, hi, April, um, you can check the link in the description section here. And it's uh, right to my website where you can book your own. If you have a question about this and you need an answer, Answer. It's $11, one card, one question. Um, and you can also go there to purchase the Aphrodite Love Oracle, which I designed and created. Okay. Wow. 
So there's that sword again. And I'm really feeling like with that queen of swords, the three of swords, you know, there's something about this heartbreak. There's something that you need to kind of bring to the surface and something that you need to speak your truth about. Okay, you have the beautiful dove of peace, which can be messages of healing. We have that leaf, which is about letting go, that death card, that, you know, transformation and change. Ooh, you have the Taurus energy coming through, that, that king of pentacles we talked about. Um, you also have that separation, that lovers and separation could be that foreign connection or um, somebody that's just away from you at the moment. Um, and that soulmate energy of over time coming back. Um, you have that this heart, which for me today is really connecting with that three of swords energy. It's kind of got, you know, it's a heart that's got a couple of a nicks on it, okay, but it's still there. And I want you to focus on all of the positives. Um, Wow, you got not one, but two owls today. Wow, that's very strong Capricorn energy for me and also a message of connection to family. Um, so I want you to receive that as well about ancestors, people around you, um, grandparents, parents, somebody who's a very solid, strong person. You have the Aphrodite love shell. And oh, look at this, you got the magic wand. <gasps> The magic wand is the magician. We have a confirmation of the magician energy. You have that sheep, which can be about, you know, connecting in your dreams, um, really kind of telepathically. Um, and, uh, you know, it could be the year of the sheep, or you might just love sheep. There could be some sort of connection for you as well. So those are all your messages today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do have a question, check the link below and visit my website and book a reading. One question, one card, $11. I am sending you so much love. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All of those things really help my channel. I will talk to you very, very soon. Hey, number three, here's your reading. You chose the black card. Um, we're going to start with your tarot cards and get information about your next boyfriend, but I'm also going to pull oracle messages, do the astro dice for you, as well as initials and charm. So let's get going. You have the Six of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Ooh, okay. So what I see for this person is um, I see a connection to the past for you. I see a connection to um, maybe your childhood, maybe someone you dated in the past, um, somebody from your hometown, somebody who you have a very like soft, gentle feeling towards, somebody who reminds you of home or makes you feel safe, okay? Um, and I see this person coming in and kind of being like that knight that comes to rescue. This person's going to move quickly, okay? Um, this knight of swords energy could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra, an air sign, or just someone who is a great communicator. I feel like this person's going to reach out to you from social media, text you, lots of contact. This is someone who's going to talk a lot to you. Um, and I feel like the only thing that's kind of coming between you is this kind of like balance between work and like love or for some of you like actually balancing two kind of relationships or having two people in your mind that you really care about and you're not sure um, if you should go for it. So I feel like you're going to be a little bit of more slow moving when it comes to this relationship. This person's going to come in fast, okay? And I do think this is soon that you're going to connect with this person. If you haven't already, it's like... Um, it's like, in the, it's like weeks, not months, not years, um, in terms of when you guys connect. And also, I'm getting a lot of messages about fall and fall time frame for you. Um, so if that resonates. Um, but yeah, I see this person as somebody you could know from your past. I don't know that you dated in the past, but we'll get more cards on that. But I do think that there's some sort of like juggling or balancing. It could also be that you live in a different place from each other. And so you have to kind of figure out how you're going to get together. Um, but this person's going to move fast. Okay, this guy coming in, quick. <laughs> so I'm happy to report that because, you know, some of the readings today have been slower. This one is not slow energy. Okay, let's see what else we get about this. 
Oh, beautiful. So we have the Knight of Cups. It's this emotional connection, this availability. It's like you two are meeting each other in the middle. Um, you're coming at this with a very open heart. Um, the Page of Cups in the center, which is reversed. So there is a little bit of a delay, and it can either be because one or the... I, I feel like it's you that maybe has um, some juggling to do, literally, whether it's with relationship or with life in general. And um, But let's see what comes through for the Knight of Swords. Ooh, Five of Swords. So um, he's really determined, and he's kind of... It could be that he is the person that he's kind of... Um, facing off against is a water sign energy, this other knight, because you have two knights kind of facing each other, and then this five of swords. I feel like this guy's going to do whatever it takes to win your heart, okay? Very determined. So there could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio from your past, or someone from that you dated before, or an ex, or an ex-husband, or something that is kind of in their way. <laughs> and they're like, you know what? I'm not... I'm not backing down. Yeah, beautiful. So I think there is a distance between you. I think that there is going to be some sort of travel involved in terms of bringing you together or connecting you. Um, I think this person's really going to open up your world if you want them to, but it's really your choice. And I think they are all in, their guns blazing, they're ready to go, um, but it could involve a distant, like a long distance relationship. And it's whether or not you kind of want to stay with the comfy cozy over here, or if you're ready to kind of go on an adventure with this new person but that's the way it's coming through it's like do you want to go on an adventure with me do you want to expand your universe or do you want to stay where you are in the castle over here with this kind of memories and this old person this old flame um, or do you want to come with me on this adventure so this air sign is really ready to go and it's fun because you also have the black uh, heart and I feel like that is kind of that air feeling for me um, so yeah a lot of air sign energy Okay, let's roll the Astro Dice and see what else we get about this connection. Okay, first house, Aries. Wow, there you go, moon. This is somebody, like I said, who is going to move fast. Um, we do have Aries coming through too. That could be you. Um, it could be their moon sign, your moon sign. But this is like, I know what I feel in my heart and I'm going for it. This is a very aggressive person. <laughs> they are not gonna like stand back and take time. They're gonna move, move fast. And I do feel this energy coming soon, okay? So be ready for it. Let's see what we get with the moon. Messages. Adjustments are required. Yes, I would say so. You have that two of pentacles here, um, which is all about making adjustments back and forth. And so there's definitely something about this connection that there's going to be an adjustment. For me, it feels like there could be it's where you actually live, that this person is in a different location, um, or that, you know, like I said, you kind of have this other person or this, for some of you, this water sign energy, this past relationship that's kind of holding you there. Um, and I almost feel like for some of you, these two have kind of battled it out before. <laughs> it's like they know each other. If that's you right below, because I'd be really curious to hear that. And you're in the middle with that two of pentacles, like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Okay, so, ooh, lion spirit, be generous of spirit. I love when lion spirit comes through because it's such powerful energy. Oh. So that's obviously Leo too, energy. Ooh, beautiful and butterfly spirit. Number 11, transformation is beautiful. So yeah, you know, I feel like the message for you is that you should go for it, you know, and um, take that adventure and be brave and be bold because this is about you stepping into this new, this new, you know, this new life, this new energy, this 11, this transformation. Um, maybe for some of you, you see 1111, which is that angel manifestation number, and you're aware of this energy. Um, 
and you're aware that you're ready to kind of blossom and you're ready to become that beautiful butterfly, you know? Um, but right now I feel like you're juggling. Right now I feel like you're kind of like, mm, I'm not sure. And so this is about embracing and being really generous, having an open heart, being open to things, okay? Now, I'm gonna pull one of my cards, the Aphrodite Love Oracle. These are for sale. The link is in the description section if you wanna purchase them. You can go to my website. And if you have questions, you can go to my website and get a shout out reading. One question, one love question, one card. I did April's today. Hi, April. Um, you can check the um, timestamp for the shout out and uh, see what it's all about. So if you want to have a question about this, you can go there. Oh, wow. Honey, Aphrodite's nectar, sweetness, innocent, natural, childhood, number 16. This person brings you joy. So hey, listen, if you have two people, you have this Knight of Cups, and he's from your past, and he brings you joy, and you have this kind of exciting, daring, air sign person, and you're like, you know what? I just... Listen to yourself, listen to your gut, listen to your intuition, because, you know, if this person brings you joy, then enjoy it. That's so interesting, because you got the childhood message, and you got the Six of Cups, which is the childhood card. So that's confirmation there. Dolphin, Aphrodite's animal, telepathic, playful, spiritual, family, number 28, you connect in your dreams. Wow. Um... I'm excited for you because I feel like, you know, sometimes we're like, oh, not dating anyone. And now you've got two options. Maybe there's something from your childhood. Maybe there's, you know, life is about trying things and growing and expanding, you know, just learning. We're always learning and we're always growing. And it just feels like you are in the process of having a lot of that. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to pull you a French fortune now and see what kind of overall we get advice for you about this connection or these connections <laughs> i'm sorry about my stomach you guys it's growling so loud it's out of control Ooh, clouds number six this is interesting because you have adjustments being made um you've got the clouds card which is you know kind of like things becoming you know uh being a little confused, daydreaming, dreaming, and you have the dream message here, distractions, challenges, that's kind of what the clouds card is, and you have that two of pentacles, so there's definitely some distractions for you, maybe you're just working really hard, you know, um, with that two of pentacles, you can be juggling, like I said at the beginning, love and relationship, and maybe you're not dedicating any time to relationships. Maybe you're just like hanging on with old stuff and old memories and not creating new ones. And so this is a message about that. That could be for some of you. If you connect with that right below, I'd really love to hear that. Um, it really, you know, the cloud message is really just don't, don't get lulled into this like sense of security. And, um, you know, there's like, there's life around you, so embrace it. I feel like that's I feel like that's the message for you today. Um, okay, now this is fun. I'm gonna pull you a goddess oracle. And the goddess oracles are really powerful messages from goddesses. And you know, one goddess today is going to give you kind of strength and inspiration, and we're gonna see who that is. Ooh, best play. Oh, I love it. How fun is it that you get the goddess of play, the message of being playful and embracing that? When I said like that, all that work stuff or not embracing life or joy or going for it, um, you know, you're getting this message of best. And so, um, you know, that two of pentacles work you know balance love balance is really interesting um but yeah this is like you know an egyptian goddess um and she's all about playing you know um something just being fun having a good time um getting back to the things that make you 
have fun getting back to a place of playfulness you know and it's like maybe you've been working too hard and you've forgotten to give yourself play breaks and this is the time to nurture that you know um and do things that you really really enjoy and just have fun that's what it is it's like that fun you know energy of you know innocence childhood is all about play so we have a real beautiful confirmation of the Aphrodite oracle message as well with your goddess. So just have fun. You know, Leos are also the um, sign of play. And so this Leo energy coming through too. Okay. Let's see what letters, initials come through for you today. Okay, you have A... K, N, S, C, G, F, P, B, J, D, M, B, R, M, and G. Okay, so there are all your letters, and now I'm going to do your charm reading. So if you've got AirPods, headphones in, you might want to turn the volume down. This can be a little loud. And before I do this, I will remind you the link to my website is in the description section of this video. You can go there. You can book a reading, a shout-out like the one I did today for April. You can check the um, timestamps if you want to see what that's like. Um, one card, one question, um, $11. And and you can also, oops, sorry, I'm trying to get my cards here for you to see. You can purchase the Aphrodite Love Oracle, which I designed, um, and they are for sale as well. So check that out. Okay, so you have that beautiful leaf of transformation and change. It can be the fall time frame. You have that message of the dream catcher catching your dreams um security safety Ooh, and here's this beautiful art this artist palette so there's a creative energy coming through maybe some of you are artists maybe that's part of embracing something you love to do that you haven't done in a while which is just kind of having fun playing i recently decorated shells for um for myself and i just love doing it um i i have a video of it on um, a reel on my Instagram. So if you want to go to my Instagram, Love Goddess Tarot, you can see um, I just showed the process and it was just really fun just for me. Do things like that for yourself. Okay, you have the pineapple, which is all about family celebration. It can also be love pineapples. I do. We have the anchor, um, which can be a water message, a message of ships. Um, it can also, oh, you know, you have two messages of ships. You also have the pirate here. Um, there's been the trial with Johnny Depp, so maybe with the Pirates of the Caribbean is coming through, maybe the name Johnny. Um, okay, you have a little rabbit, so sweet, which is about innocence, fun, play, um, springtime. This the sea turtle is a message about going home. Um, maybe there's something drawing you back to where you lived, um, where you grew up. We had also that message of childhood and the six of cups so that's coming through you have that lucky penny which is good fortune is coming good luck um also the name lincoln maybe copper is coming through and one um you have the owl owls come up all three times i think today capricorn energy coming through family member someone watching over you um, the Aphrodite love shell, that true love, and that emotional connection is all coming through. So, so many messages for you today. I can't wait to hear your stories. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share. All those things really, really help my channel. Write all your comments below. Let me know how you're connecting. And check out my website. The link is in the description section if you want to purchase anything, including my love oracle cards as well well as a one card reading. I am sending you so much love. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, number four, you picked the rose quartz heart. So we are going to look at messages about your next boyfriend, starting with the tarot. I'm also going to pull oracle cards for you, roll the astrodice, do a charm reading, lots to get to, get comfy, get cozy. 
Okay, so you have the star card, beautiful card of healing, Aquarius energy coming through. Ooh, you have the higher fence. You have two major arcana, and this is Taurus energy, something traditional um, and, and very sort of um, could be religious, but we'll get to that. Ooh, and justice, wow. Okay, so your next boyfriend is a major relationship. It's not just a date. Um, this is major arcana, which are about chapters in your life, big big kind of big things happening. Um, this really feels like something very important that could even lead to marriage for some of you because we have that hierophant here. Um, I see the two of you connecting through air sign energy. Um, could be Libra, Aquarius, Gemini's, you know, you could be one, they could be the other, all that energy. Um, this is the card of healing and this is the card of justice. This is real Libra energy and this is real Aquarius energy. So, um, I feel like you guys are going to be great communicators. I feel like this person could be Libra or could be involved in the justice system, a lawyer, um, somebody, you know, criminal defense person or a police officer or someone that's just into fairness and justice um, or just a Libra, someone who wants a balanced relationship. And you are coming through as being this very, very connected to the universe, very much into a spiritual healing, um, a queer energy, someone who's just in sync with their life and in touch with what they want in life. And I see you two coming together and sharing the same values. There's something about this connection that's really, really special. Um, you have this beautiful energy of communication and air sign energy coming together where you just really understand one another. And as I said, I feel like you both share either like something about social justice or something about your values that you you just get one another and you agree about the big things. This feels spiritual. It feels like you both, um, you know, like I said, share the same beliefs, share, share the same values. And there is a potential for actual long-term relationship, um, a traditional marriage, a traditional connection long-term. Um, and again, this person's coming through with Libra energy. You're coming through with Aquarian energy. But both of you um, are just coming together with this shared commitment. Wow, this is intense. This is more, this is like, who will you marry question, not who's your next boyfriend. But we'll get you some more cards and confirmation about this energy. Oh, Wow. All major arcana. All four of your cards have been major. Um, and this is so beautiful. This is you really, you know, embracing your femininity. This is the divine feminine. This is, you know, enjoying your life, being surrounded by luxury, connecting with nature, being a nurturing person. This is such beautiful energy. Wow. And that's also more Libra. We have Libra. Um, and Taurus because the Empress is both Libra and Taurus and we have Libra here and Taurus here so the Libra Taurus message is coming through really strongly okay we also have the King of Wands which is this beautiful fire sign energy um, this person who's very open has a big heart let me straighten out my camera there sorry about that um, and somebody who's really generous and kind wow this is a beautiful connection they just see you as so attractive. You are exactly what they've hoped for. This person doesn't take their gaze off you. Look at that King of Wands. He's just This King of Wands is just so focused on you and on the relationship. I just get this very strong sense that, um, that this is going to lead to marriage. That this is a very, very serious connection. Um, wow, yeah. And the King of Cups, it's like, wow such like dedication and such uh passion and just i honestly i can't i don't even i don't know what to say just because it's so perfect and i, <laughs> I don't, nothing's perfect but this is really pretty good it's pretty amazing um i'm really happy for you okay um so now i'm gonna roll the astrodice and then we'll get you some oracle messages about this connection number four Sun, sixth house, Taurus. Look at that. 
Wow. So you guys could meet through work. There's a lot of Taurus energy in the sixth house is um, the workhouse. So it could be literally out doing your daily stuff. It could be through work. Um, but we're getting a confirmation of more Taurus energy with that Hierophant. You had Taurus and you have the Empress who can also be Taurus energy. So very, very strong. Um, Okay, so now I'm going to pull you. First, I'll start with my cards, the Aphrodite Love Oracle. I designed them. They are for sale. The link is in the description section to purchase. Just go to my website, and you can purchase them. Ooh. Okay. You have Pearl, Aphrodite's Gemstone, Round, Soft, Protective, Surprise. You may be overlooking something wonderful. Wow. I don't feel like you're overlooking something with this person. I think this is more about um, the fact that this is something that's been coming for a long time. Okay, we have the King of Cups and we have the Pearl. So pearls happen when an oyster has a little bit of sand in it, an irritant. And so it, it creates this um, protective coating around it, which eventually becomes a pearl. Right here, I have pearls right here. Um, pearls are one of Aphrodite's symbols. And um, what I feel that is that this person is special. That's what it feels like to me, that this is such a special connection. And I think they are going to surprise you. So maybe the overlooking it is you didn't see this coming. You guys work together and you connect and you're like, wow, this is unbelievably good. <laughs> Sometimes we're really surprised about how good things are or can be. Okay, so you have ocean blue, Aphrodite's eyes, vision, soul, artist, expansion, number 41. Love at first sight. Yeah, I get that. I felt that. I felt that when I saw the king of wands come up with... Um, with you as the empress and I said he can't take his eyes off you it's like you're it okay you are it wow please let me know when this happens because this is very exciting and you did pick the rose court I mean the rose court so it's like that true love that also the Libra energy the pink um Taurus Venus energy of rose court so that's really beautiful too okay Let's get you an oracle message from the animal oracle. Ooh, giraffe spirit. See the big picture, number 29. And that's also about not missing something. So you're really getting two messages. You've got the pearl message from Aphrodite's gemstone. You may be overlooking something. And the giraffe spirit, which is telling you, see the big picture. So those two really connect. And mouse spirit, tend to the small things. I feel like this person is someone that tends to the small things. That's why they might not get noticed, okay, which is interesting. So this could be someone you work with, someone close to home, someone that you might not have realized had all of this potential. And I'm here to tell you they do, so you don't miss it, okay? Um, Let's get you a moon message. How exciting. I can't wait to hear what happens with this. Okay. Um, conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Listen, we're heading into eclipse season. You've got all these messages of Taurus. Um, the eclipse season right now is in Taurus and Scorpio. The, this, the axis that the eclipses are happening, they happen in pairs, opposite signs every 18 months. And so we are heading in like in the next couple of days to our first eclipse in Taurus. So with all of your messages, I do think this is coming quick. And that's what you're not, that's, and you know what else? Eclipses bring things out into the open that you might have missed or they make things happen really quickly. So, a maze. I love that. Okay. I'm literally, like, breathless. I'm so excited by this reading. Okay. Let's get you an overall message. Oh, beautiful. Tree number five. I love it. I love tree because you have all those Taurus messages, and that's such an earth sign um, you know, kind of stable symbol. The tree is so solid. 
Um, but this is also about health and vitality. And you've got the star card, which is so powerful. And you've got the beautiful empress card. Um, so it's, and which is also, this is also about fertility. And the empress is also about fertility. So for some of you, this could be um, having children together too. Um, but this is all about like th long term things as well, which that Taurus energy and this hierophant um, energy, which is the seeds that you plant now will grow into something long term. And the hierophant is definitely long term. And that Taurus energy again, wow, this is very, very amazing. <laughs> I love this. Um, now, as like a little final fun overall, I'm going to pull you a goddess oracle message. And so these are all the goddesses, and I'm going to see which goddess wants to give you advice today. Let's see what you need to hear, what you need to embrace. Who is your goddess today? Ooh, Urinum. Urinami? Ecstasy. Ooh, let me give you a closer look at her. She is having a good time <laughs> that much we can tell. so this goddess is really you know letting you know that you need to embrace ecstasy you know open yourself up to it give yourself permission to call it in to feel it to revel in it that's also that empress energy which is all about really embracing all of the senses you know touch taste smell you know just enjoy it um this is really about having fun and dancing with life and and connecting. And I think you may have been through something um, difficult because you started with that beautiful star card. And sometimes that the star card comes after healing and after something traumatic. So maybe um, this is a reminder for you that you deserve it. Okay, you're the empress. You've got this beautiful energy coming in. Um, you know, you've got the king of wands who just thinks you're gorgeous and amazing amazing and wonderful. Have fun. This is also passionate energy. So have a good time is the message today. Okay. Let's get you some initials and letters. See what we can get. Okay. B dropped to the floor. So B wanted to come out and B. Okay. Wow. Two B's wanted to come out. So if your name starts with B, or your initials are BB, this is most definitely getting your attention. The universe wanted to get your attention. Or if you know someone, oops, okay, you, you're getting lots, so let's go through it. I'm going to pick them all up and then go at it that way. S, G, C, N, D, N, E, E, C, I, M, F, M, J, A, O, and L. Wow. Okay. I can't wait. Write all your, whatever you come up with below. If your name comes up or a place, please tell me. I love that. Um, and so now I'm going to do your charm reading. Let's see what messages we can get from the charms about this connection. And while you are turning down your volume, if you have headphones in or AirPods, um, I'm going to remind you that you can get a one card, one question answered, any love question you have, one card reading, by going to the description section in this video and clicking on the link to my website. You can book it. It's just $11. It's a really great way for us to all connect. I do a shout out like I did today in today's video. Hi, April. She got her shout out today. She got her question answered. Um, and if you want to see what they're like, you can just check out the introduction. I have April's shout out there and you can book your own. You can also go there to purchase the Aphrodite love oracle which i designed they are for sale um, make donations leave me a tip if you love me and you want to buy me a cup of tea um, and check out all my other links to instagram and all my good stuff so that's that now just check it below let's get your chart a 
Okay, over here you have always and heart. This is a long-term connection, as I said. It feels very long-term. Look at this. It's like the missing piece, the missing person in your life, your best friend. Um, we also have this egg, which is another sign of fertility. You have the empress. You have a lot of messages about fertility. Um, and you have the moon, that beautiful king of cups energy, that water sign connection. Um, you have the anchor, wanting to anchor to someone. It could be also a message about boats or ships. Um, you have the coffee or teapot. That can be a date going to a key, tea shop or someone maybe brings you a cup of coffee every day and you just suddenly look at them and realize, oh my God, Gosh, this person's amazing. What am I doing? You also have the dream catcher, catching your dreams, making your dreams come true. Also protective energy. Um, this could be someone who does detail work, someone who's a Virgo, earth sign energy, a perfectionist. And you also have the cactus, which is um, really about, you know, being being solid and strong. Um, it can also just be you love cactus or you're from Arizona. Um, so there's lots of lots of different meanings. So those are all your charms. This is your reading for today. Please write all your comments below. Let me know how you're connecting. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All of those things really, really help me. And check the link below if you want to purchase my cards or book a reading. I am sending you guys so much love. You're so amazing. Thanks for being here and I'll talk to you really soon.